Hello everyone, so today uh, we're going to be looking at a scenario where Kazakhstan forms an empire. So first, anything that is red, dark red, uh, will be Kazakhstan. And then blue will be represented, oops. Blue will be represented as whatever Kazakhstan is attacking. I'm sorry for the bad quality of this map. It's it's just the best one that I could find that had the oceans in it. All right, so first off, um, don't be offended if your country gets wrecked because Kazakhstan is gonna have an army boost. So, yeah. So, first off, Kazakhstan's going to attack Uzbekistan. So, yeah. Kazakhstani troops move in through this side of Uzbekistan and get very close to the capital. They cut off this part, which is eaten up by Kazakhstan because, yeah. Okay. And they move down here, keep pushing in from this side, cut off a big army here, and they give up. And then they move up on the border of Turkmenistan and down that lump. Again, they cut off a pretty large army. And over here, uh, Kazakhstani troops encircle the capital. We capture it because Uzbekistan is weak and Uzbekistan gives up. And now, hold up, give me a second. This, there will be a full integration of Uzbekistan. So now that Uzbekistan has been fully annexed, we're going to see Kazakhstan uh, attack Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um... So we're going to see Kazakhstani troops capture this part, move into Kyrgyzstan, pretty much encircle the entire country. And they move down, and in this line, they capture Tajikistan's ugly hair. And Tajikistan, I don't know where their capital is. But I'm going to assume it's right here. Okay. So, Kazakhstani troops move through here. And pretty much encircle the lower part of Kyrgyzstan. And move down and cut off a pretty large part of Ch Tajikistan. Then they move down. Capture this part. Now Tajikistan just gets wiped through. All right, so. And then Kyrgyzstan gets a large army cut off. A campaign is put through the middle. I'm going to assume that the capital is right there. And we're going to see an encirclement of an army which then surrenders. Where Since they're pretty weak, they're pretty small, and they're mostly mountains, I'm going to see them wiped through. Now, uh, another full integration is made, and both nations are eaten.
by Kazakhstan. Alright, now Kazakhstan is pretty much all of Central Asia. All they have left is Turkmenistan. So, Turkmenistan is going to be attacked. Oops. I forgot to... Alright. They will be attacked by a pretty buff um, Giga Chad Kazakhstan. Alright, so let's start the invasion. So, Kazakhstan will have specialized troops fit for the desert. They will go through the north, we can see here. And then there's going to be a campaign to cut off the lump of Turkmenistan. They're not strong. They're a dictatorship as well, so the people aren't very happy. So they will also probably help Kazakhstan in this in hopes of freedom. So this army is encircled, which the morale of Turkmenistani soldiers, I don't know how to, Turkmen, I don't know. Turkmen, I'm just gonna call them Turkmen. Turkmen soldiers is pretty low. If I'm not mistaken, I think the capital is right here. So we're going to see an encirclement, and then this just leads to the surrender of Turkmenistan. Another full integration is made. So now Kazakhstan is pretty much just a Central Asian Union, but next we are going to see them attack Afghanistan. And with this, since Afghanistan is controlled by terrorists, which I'm not going to name because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, they're, they're, I don't know if they're stronger than the Afghan army, but yeah, they know how to use terrain, but the specialized troops from the Central Asia, like Southern Central Asia, will probably end them because it's the same area, especially from Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. So we see a push from all up north, and we see this lump getting encircled, and then we see their panhandle being taken. And another large campaign is made ending these troops and cutting off a large army here. This army surrenders and more more of the same thing. If I'm not mistaken, Kabul is right here. So, whoops. So they are getting pretty close, and the um, terrorist government is upset and scared. This is mostly just desert, so it's there's not really anything guarding this area. And same over here. The only thing that's reasonably... Whoops. Reasonable to protect is this area. But, yeah. A very large front line is made. And now Afghanistan just doesn't have a chance. So they uh, surrender. And lucky for them. Lucky for them. They do not get fully annexed. Instead, they get partially annexed and still have freedom, but they do have a change of government which lets women go to school and no full terrorist control. 
there will be a puppet state though. And their panhandle goes over to Kazakhstan. Next, they will be attacking across the Caspian Sea and attacking Azerbaijan. Now, the tricky thing is they have this exclave and they can't get there unless permission of Armenia or Iran, but right now they don't like that they're expanding. So, Armenia is going to intervene and also attack Azerbaijan and take their little exclave. So, several naval landings are made across the coast of Azerbaijan. Baku is taken because that's not a smart place to put the capital. And Armenia takes their exclave and they surrender. So, a peace treaty will be made. Here are the new borders. So now they have an exclave across the ocean. They will buy land from China because I don't know if they have relations, but I'm pretty sure they do, and I'm pretty sure they're pretty good. But this is what Kazakhstan looks like right now. And to get rid of this little lump in Pakistan, that's who they're going to war with. So, we're going to see Kazakhstani troops and uh, Afghan troops move into Pakistan. Oops. And... They invade their little south panhandle. It's mostly desert anyways. And this part is kind of just free land. So that's what happens. They encircle this bump. And then they don't focus anymore on the south. Really. That Well, that's a lie. They focus right here and capture this area. So now it's just one large front line. Pakistan is a pretty strong country, but in this world, Kazakhstan is way stronger. The north falls and Pakistan is pretty much almost lost. Now, Islamabad is, oops, about here, so that's what we're gonna go with. Oops. Our troops, Pakistan troops and Afghan troops, move in towards Islamabad, move north, cutting off supply chains in this army, taking out that army, and Take a chunk out of Pakistan here. Now at this point, Pakistan's pretty, like, angry. And China's not that happy, but since they have diplomatic relations in this world, they're not gonna do anything. <sighs> and... So, Pakistan gives up with the thought of being totally annexed. So, new borders will look like this. Alright, so Pakistan will become a puppet, a puppet state of Kazakhstan. And now, a new competitor has entered this zone, which is Kazakhstan. And since they are the strongest out of India and China, that means... We're going to see Kazakhstan take it over. 
and annex it instead of just occupy it. So this is what we see here. And now they share a border, a pretty large border with India. So what we have here is the Kazakhstani Empire and or Central Asian Union and it's pretty large. I mean they even got some land very close to Europe. They could puppet Georgia and move into Europe. But they decided not to cause a NATO conflict. So this is what we're left with. It's a pretty large country now and so I appreciate you guys watching and goodbye.